in the last video we talked about how to find the inverse of a key and now we are actually going to dive into how to decode a 2 by 2 hill cipher with an actual example. Once you follow me through, uh, this will be very clear how everything happens. So here, uh, decode the following with a key path. Uh, you might say, okay, so this is not a matrix, it's made up of a number of letters. So here's what we're going to do, we're going to change these into uh, numbers. So we can say P is 15, A is 0, T is 19, and H is 7. So now we know that our key is actually 15, 0, 19, 7. This will be very helpful later on. And then also, once you transfer those letters into numbers, let's take care of the rest um, and put these also into numbers. 25, 7, 24, 13 again. Okay, because this is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix, we're going to want to group these letters into numbers of 2 uh, for the decode process. Cool. Um, now see, we have the key now. We are going to have to find the inverse before we can do anything. So let's find the inverse of the key. Um, a joint of this big boy is going to be made of 15, I'm sorry, 7, 15, negative 19, and 0. And we are going to transfer that into mod 26 right away. 0, 15. Cool. And let me get my calculator. So, and then the determinant is going to be 15 times 7 minus basically 0, because 0 times 19 is 0, and we can say that's 105, which in mod 26 is 1. So this is awesome, because we don't have to do anything more. The inverse of 1 in mod 26 is still 1. So we can say that the key inverse, I'm just going to put k inverse, is simply 7, 0, 7, 15. Perfect. So now I'm going to take that over here. And I am going to erase this to give myself more room for the actual calculation of... Um, the decryption. Okay, and then the next thing we do is gonna we're gonna multiply the inverse of the key um, by each group of two that uh, letters that makes the matrix. So start with G and C. Um, seven zero seven fifteen multiplied by six two which gives us, so 7 times 6, plus 0 times 2, which is 0. And then we go on to the second row, 7 times 6 again, and then adding 15 times 2. So that's going to give us 42 and 72. Uh -huh. and we're going to transfer that into mod 26, which will give us 20 and 16. A calculator will be very helpful to uh, help keep you on track. We can, of course, already transfer these letters, in, uh, I mean numbers, into letters. So this will make U and U. And then let's move on to the second one. A and N. So again, always key first and then your ciphertext 0, 13. So this is going to be just 0 on top because 7 times 0 plus 0 times 13 
just 0, and then the bottom will be 7 times 0 plus 15 times 13, which is 195. Okay, so that's going to give us 195, let's see. Um, 0 and 13, so that's A and N. So I'm writing all the plain text in capital letters, but you don't have to if you find yourself confusing the plain text and the ciphers. So uh, the small lowercase will be just fine. Moving on to ZH. Similar process. So if we put them together, Q, U, A, N, T, U, M, Z. Quantums? That makes sense. That's a pretty good sign that we did everything correctly. And here you go. There's your answer.